Hey there! Welcome to this tutorial. Today, we'll explore an amazing tool that helps you create stunning visuals with AI. Let's jump in and see how it works. Invoke AI is a powerful AI platform that lets you generate high-quality visuals effortlessly. What makes Invoke AI special? It gives you full creative control while keeping your work secure. You can customize everything and fully own your creations. Some key features include powerful image generation tools, a creative canvas, upscaling options, and custom model integration. Plus, it's great for teams, offering collaboration tools, and a flexible workflow that works for any creative industry. Once you're logged into Mimic PC, here's what you do. Click Add New App on the main page. Find Invoke AI and click Get Started. Choose the hardware that suits your needs. Then click Create and Start. In just 30 seconds to 2 minutes, you're all set to begin. When you open the Invoke interface, you'll notice three main sections, the Settings panel, the Working area, and the Layers and Gallery panel. Let's start with the Settings panel, where you control everything for image generation. If you want to save each variation as its own image, just toggle Save to Gallery next to the Invoke button. Or if you prefer to keep it as a draft on the canvas, switch to Save to Canvas instead. You can also set the number of images created with each run here. And if you're new, prompt templates make it really easy to get started. Just look for a template in the Choose Prompt Template drop-down. There are lots of templates to choose from. Let me type a simple prompt in the box as an example. With the toggle button, you can instantly see how the template affects the prompt. If you're looking for styles that aren't included in the default templates, you can easily create and save your own using existing images or starting from scratch. If you'd rather create a template from scratch, just click the Create Prompt Template icon in the same drop-down. Write your desired positive and negative prompts, give your template a name, and upload a cover image. You can turn any image generated in Invoke into a prompt template. Just right-click the image, select Use for Prompt Template, give it a name, and save. It'll then appear under My Templates in the Choose Prompt Template drop-down. Next, let's go over the image settings. Aspect Ratio. Models perform best at certain sizes. For example, SD 1.5 works best at 512 by 512. You can adjust the aspect ratio as needed and then hit Optimize to fine tune. Width and height control the size of the image you're generating. Disabling random seed ensures you get the same results with identical settings. Denoising strength adjusts how much change happens during the process. Now for some advanced settings. Model. Invoke AI features several models, including SD 1.5, SDXL, and Flux. Each model is designed for different types of content, giving you flexibility based on your creative needs. Plus, you can add custom models to suit your unique requirements. Scheduler defines how noise is added to an image during generation. Popular options include Euler, which works well with fewer steps, and DPM++ 2M Keras, which may need more steps for better results. Steps refers to the number of iterations performed for each image. The higher the step count, the better the image. Typically, starting around 30 to 35 steps works well. CFG scale controls how closely the AI follows your prompt. Lower values give it more creative freedom, while higher values stick closer to your input. 
Before we dive into the other options, let's create an image as an example. It's super simple. Here's the queue where you can track the status of your images. Alright, here are the results. Check out how easy that was. Since we chose to save it to the gallery, let's take a look. Here, you'll find all your generated images in the gallery. To run an image to image process on an existing image, just drag it into the canvas and select create raster layer. Depending on the size of your image, you might need to resize it, or simply click the Fit B box to Layers button in the top right of the canvas panel to adjust the bounding box. I've switched the style to Anime. And now we can adjust how closely the system sticks to the original image using denoising strength. Let's test it with 0 0.35, 0 0.55, and 0 0.75. Alright, as you can see, 0.35 makes only minor changes to the image, 0.55 brings in some moderate variations, and 0.75 gives us more significant changes. Let's dive into outpainting. You must be at the raster layer again. To start outpainting, press C to activate the outpainting mode or click on the box. Keep half of your image inside the box and leave the other half blank for new content. If you're using the same prompt, ensure that enough of the original image stays within the box to prevent unintended results, and let me change its save to canvas to better comparison. And also make sure to select the seed value as zero. Okay, here is the result. To do in painting, start by selecting an image from your gallery and dropping it onto the canvas. Make sure you're on the Unpaint Mask layer. It's available by default. For masking, press B to use the brush. And always keep your mask within the bounding box for the best results. For settings, a denoising strength of 0.55 works really well. This will add noise only to the masked area, keeping the rest of the image untouched. And even if the bounding box looks small, don't worry. The image will be upscaled to full resolution for better detail. Upscaling images in Invoke is really straightforward. Just head to the Upscaling tab on the left between the Canvas and Workflow tabs. Here's how to do it. Simply drag your image into the Upscale box or use the Upload icon to pick one from your computer. Choose your Upscale model and set the scale. For instance, setting it to 4x will make the image four times larger. You can control how much the Upscale version changes with two sliders. Creativity Slider. This adjusts how creative or different the result will be from the original. A higher setting will give you more variety. Structure Slider. 
This keeps the upscaled image similar to the original layout. A higher setting makes sure the composition stays intact. You can also change the generation model and play with advanced options like the scheduler for extra details. Okay, here is the result. As you can see the prompt of green eyes make the change on final image. Or you can upscale any images in the gallery by clicking here. Choose the method of upscaling and let AI do the rest. Okay, here are the results. The workflow editor is like a blank canvas where you can customize your image generation process. If you're familiar with Comfy UI, you'll feel right at home here. Your workflows are made up of nodes, which are connected to shape the output. Each node takes inputs on the left and provides outputs on the right. To connect nodes, just drag connectors from one to another. It's super easy, and inputs and outputs are color-coded for your convenience. You can add new nodes, or even import existing ones to streamline your workflow. Now, let's talk about adding models and LoRas to Invoke. When you first start Invoke, you'll see a pop-up prompting you to install some starter models using the Model Manager. In the Model Manager, under the Starter Models tab, you'll find a collection of popular, high-quality models ready to download. Just click the plus icon next to the model you want, and it will install right into your project. Make sure not to navigate away or refresh the page while it installs. Once it's done, you'll find all your installed models right here. You can also add model files directly. Just head over to the URL or Local Path tab, where you can either enter the URL or the path to a local file or folder to install a diffuser's model. If you're installing from Hugging Face, just enter the repo ID under the Hugging Face tab. Thanks for joining me on this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and that you're inspired to unleash your creativity with Invoke AI. Remember, every great creation starts with a spark of imagination. Happy creating!